Hello and welcome to my first Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to be making a Left 4 Dead inspired logo. Really you can modify it in any way but what I'm doing today is closely related to the default Left 4 Dead logo. And this by no means is how it's made really or anything, it's just my version of creating the same look. Alright, so let's get started. As you can see, I already have the font in place. I just put left and then I left like a space to put the four and then dead. Um, I will put in the sidebar the link to the font that I use as well as my property for my blending options and all of my layer properties on both my text and the blood splatter. So right now I'm using a brush really I'm just trying to make a oval circular type area in which it's mainly dominant with that color so that when I put the four on it completely around the outside of the four I have color so that it's not like the four clips through it I'm going to get the text tool and make another layer and make a four I normally increase the size of the four bigger than the font because I like that it stands out more. And then what you want to do is get your move tool and just place it over the splat, the blood splat, and kind of form it to where it fits it best. And here I'm actually rotating the blood splat to fit it appropriately. Now what you want to do is hold the control button on your keyboard and click the four so that it does the marching ants around the four and it has that selected. Then you go back to the layer in which you have your blood splatter on and get the erase tool and start erasing where that four is. After you've completed that, you can go to the four and completely delete it. You don't need that anymore because now the blood splatter has the imprint of the four and you're completely done. Now what I'm doing is just adding some layer options to give it more of that finished look. And I will put in the sidebar all of the options that I use. But basically, I did a very simplistic gradient on both the font and the blood splatter. I did a little drop shadow. And that's really it. It's a very, very easy look to achieve. You can modify it in any way that you choose to. And I hope that this was beneficial. This has been Alfred Evie with another tutorial. Stay tuned for more, and thanks for watching. Bye.